In Learning Objective 2, we're going to talk about present values with multiple cash flows. How do we handle these if we have different cash flows, and how do we handle these if they're the same amount each and every year? There's two ways to do it. I can discount the balance back one period at a time or calculate the present value of each cash flow and then add them up. Uh, again, it's your choice. You should be able to uh, do them either way. Uh, again, if the amounts are the same, we can use the present value annuity formula, but if they are not the same, we must go back to session five and do the present value future value equation, PV equals FV divided by one plus R to the T. Uh, here's an example. You've given, you're offered an investment that will pay $200 at the end of year one, $300 at the, I'm sorry, $400 at the end of year two, $600 at the end of year three, and $800 at the end of year four. So 200 400, 600, 800 on the timeline. Nothing in the bank today. Uh, you can earn 12% on uh, similar investments. What is the most you should pay for this one today? Again, a timeline, zero, 200, 400, 600, 800 at the end of uh, each of the uh, next four years. And this time I'm going to discount these uh, back to the left. I'm going to discount these cash flows at the end of the years back to the left by dividing them each by 1.12, 1.12 squared. So the 400 I'll divide by 1.12 squared, the uh, 600 by 1.12 cubed, then the 800 divided by uh, 1.12 to the fourth, um, and then add them all up. I'm not going to read all those numbers for you. And uh, you get approximately $1,432 by discounting those cash flows back to today. Now, notice that in a world with no discounting, you'd have 200 plus 400 plus 600 plus 800 or $2,000. But with this severe discounting uh, at a 12% rate, uh, you have $1,432 today. Again, pointing out the point that a uh, dollar today is not worth a dollar uh, sometime in the future. Uh, important note about cash flow timing, these cash flows occur at the end of each period. Let me stress that again, the end of each period, unless you're told otherwise, uh, you're assumed they come in on December 31st of the year. So again, we've used uh, in the past two examples, future value and present value, different cash flows, multiple cash flows, and we're just using the uh, concepts we uh, came and learned, came with and learned in uh, session number five to figure these differing cash flows out, present value and future value.